Hello everyone, today I would like to present Gunter Rambo, an influential photographer and graphic designer of conceptual images. He was born in 1938 in the Prussian town of Neustrelitz, Germany. His youth was divided by Soviet-dominated communist East Germany and capitalist West Germany. Rambo lived in East Germany until age 16, but moved to Hadamar in West Germany in 1954 due to the Soviet Red Army occupation. Many Germans fled from them or were expelled. He first studied glass painting in Hadamar and later enrolled in an Academy of Art and Design in 1958 to learn graphic design. Rambo learned and was impressed by the suggestive power of photography from Hans Hilsmann. He was inspired by photo montages expression with illustrations and sub possibilities in them. Rambo often creates detailed photographs with a sense of magic or mystery, using collage and montages as a means of visualizing a new graphic reality. Images were created by using layers of pictures, combining, and creating a new illusionistic composition and rephotographed. Another method Rambo used to create a unique design is decomposition. It refers to deconstructing the form and put it all together, changing its composition and sizes. It results in a striking new visual form with scattered, altered combination and incomplete pieces. In this poster, Rambo used the body pieces of the main characters to create a new shape and composition. Rambo is also known for shaping the idea of conceptual photography. Conceptual image or photography refers to images or photographs that convey an idea or concept. Rambo used abstract imagery in his works. This is an example for the theater poster called Antigon. We will refer to its symbolism later. There are two major ideas behind the design of Rambo. The first one is visual poetry. He said that poetry, art, and literature are felt by people every day. They are everywhere and can be found at any time as long as people observe things around them. He believed that everything in the world could be components of visual poetry. Ting Jing Shi agrees with Rambo's comments and conceptualized that a successful poster design should not only pursue a formal beauty or a visual impact. What's more, it should discover its inner beauty and create an atmosphere of simplicity and a shock force on psychology, giving the readers rich imagination. The second vital element of his design is visual communication. This is a comment of Rambo in an interview. I inherited it from my father a passion, a straightforward sense of justice and a feeling for a dialogue and the insight that results from it. Rambo believes that design is a political institution. He claims that every artwork he produces contains a response to the environment. In this same interview, Rambo mentions the political role of design using the example of Berlin's logo. The symbolism of Berlin is either a bear or the Brandenburg Gate. Some people consider the bear as a mascot animal of Berlin because German pronunciation of bear resembles Berlin's first syllable. Brandenburg Gate is a famous historical site located in Berlin. This is where the Berlin Wall was created too. For more details, check Eva Spirova's online article or the Editor Encyclopedia of Britannica. I will post a reference on the final slide. So, with that said, Let's see how Rambo communicated a message and poetry with images by looking more at his posters. These are the posters for Othello and Antigone. Othello was produced in 1978. It describes the pathos of the play as an image frame within an image, as if we were watching a movie on a screen. For Antigone, a single object, a chair, expresses the isolation of the main character. The short life and the fate of the protagonist are described with a consuming fire. It narrates with symbols the story of the play. In this poster for a theater called Hamlet Machine, the image of a man ripping off his face conveys a dramatic negation or self-destruction. The actual play wrote by Heiner Mueller bases on Hamlet. Hamlet is asked to be a machine to continue the history, which initially he denies. However, his attempt fails and he decides to forsake his life and all will to become a machine. 
This is a poster created for a popular British literary magazine containing many famous authors' work called Egoist. It is a play of visual puns. Rambeau created a series of the posters using fruits and vegetables. He plays with the words Egoist and Ego Eats. The use of common elements, such as a potato, convey the idea that ordinary or non-artistic objects can be art subjects. This is a new style for Rambo. It's using an illustration instead of photography. It was created for an opera called Maria Stuarda. White lilies in the Christian world, it's a symbol of purity and virtue, often contributed to Mary or Maria, the Virgin. Cutting the flower narrates the unjust execution of Maria Stuarda due to the false charge of the jealous queen. The queen wanted to eliminate the comp competitor, who is Maria, and orders to kill her. However, only one lily, symbol of innocence, remains, which contradicts with the story because Maria was the one who was cut off. As Rambo said, he designed narrative posters, but also allowed room for viewers to ponder and interpret its meaning, producing new insights. Rambo is still actively teaching communication design and kept producing notable works, inspiring other artists. He contributed his talents to solidify conceptual imagery as an art component. Here's the reference to find more details about Rambo and his works. And that is my presentation. Thank you for listening.